And a very pleasant good afternoon, everyone. Happy New Year's Eve. Uh, we're getting closer to the actual evening. A uh, little over an hour away from the official sunset time, the last sunset, not only of this year, but this decade. Now, if you're headed out in the next few hours, we will be dodging some flurries and some snow showers until early this evening. And then the weather should gradually be improving by late this evening and overnight tonight. I'll quickly break it all down for you and then send you on your way as you make your preparations for whatever your celebration includes this evening uh, with family, friends, maybe just chilling at home, which is what yours truly will likely be doing. It is Tuesday afternoon, in case you lost track of the days. Which means every Tuesday afternoon, we are brought to you by Country Hammer Moonshine. It's flavored moonshine, my friends. A limited distillery that specializes in flavored moonshine. They have over 50 flavors. They offer free tastings. And they also have four retail sale locations. Four stores. One's located in Robinson. The others are located in Bethel Park, North Huntington, and Clarendon, which means you can go right into the store, check out their selection of flavored moonshine, and take it with you and head on your way. Or you can reach them online at countryhammermoonshine.com, which you get 10% off of your online orders. This is the thing right now. It is flavored moonshine. It is really good if you've never had flavored moonshine. Uh, there are many flavors from adult chocolate milk to apple pie to pumpkin pie just to name a few and they sort of roll over at least some of the flavors more seasonally uh, but you can check out all of the the flavors again the actual retail locations at their website countryhammermoonshine.com the uh, limited distillery that specializes in flavored moonshine very quickly, if you know somebody celebrating a birthday today, a few folks that they share a birthday with, Ben Kingsley, also Anthony Hopkins, Iceman Val Kilmer, and the late John Denver and Donna Summer celebrate birthdays today. And in addition to New Year's Eve, it is National Champagne Day today as well. Plenty of corks will be popping over the course of this evening. Okay, let's check out, let me set this up. Some current conditions. Um, I will tell you that most places are still seeing temperatures above freezing. Now, even though snow is falling and in places reducing visibility, it's mostly not sticking to roads. Roads are generally just wet. Um, if there's any stickage going on, it is doing so on non-paved surfaces uh, across the area. So let's check out first some current temperatures and then I'll give you a peek at the radar. Here's a look at some of those numbers across the area. Beaver Falls, 33. It is 34 at the airport over in the Moon Township area. Downtown, 35. 34 in Indiana. Washington's at 35. So slightly warmer south versus north, as often can be the case. You can see Franklin is below freezing at 30 degrees. And we talked about this morning the brisk winds. Here's your wind column here. Westerly wind coming in in most cases about 15 miles an hour. So that does add a little extra bite to the air. So wind chill values are probably likely running in the mid 20s in most locations. Here is a look, a quick one at radar as of the four o'clock hour. And you can see kind of bands of snow showers moving through parts of the area. You have one band here, another one here, and a third one here. This one that's moving through now, Lawrence County, is a little stronger than the ones out ahead of it. So this one, Newcastle, cutting back into parts of eastern Ohio, not only will it reduce visibility, that could leave a minor accumulation again on non-paved surfaces as it races through the area in the next hour or two, everything moving from west to east at about 30 miles an hour. But you can see the activity is generally hit and miss. And if it is most widespread, it is so across mainly northern and eastern counties at this moment. So if you're heading out in the next couple of hours, we'll be dodging some of these snow showers, which will, again, at times, 
reduced visibility, but generally roadways with above freezing temperatures, road surfaces are still running above freezing. And as a result, not much, if anything, is sticking to roads. They are generally just wet. So we have your outlook for New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, and beyond. Sort of an abbreviated outlook here just for the next couple of days. Again, we're brought to you by Country Hammer Moonshine. Dot com. That's your location for flavored moonshine, which is a big thing now. Uh, you can get all your flavored moonshine in 2020 at one of their four retail locations. Your New Year's Eve outlook, if you're headed out, here's your temperature breakdown. 7 o'clock, 30 degrees. 11 o'clock, 29 and 27 if you're late getting home at 2 o'clock in the morning. Snow showers will be ending Early this evening, clouds though will linger overnight and winds will stay brisk as well. And then New Year's Day tomorrow, clouds in the morning, sunshine in the afternoon. So skies brighten up 39. The high temperature, a seasonal high. Normal highs around 37 for the first day of the year. And then Thursday, many headed back to work and or school. Turns milder quickly. 47 degrees with morning sunshine on Thursday, just the opposite, and then clouds will take over in the afternoon. Our next chance for rain will come Thursday night into Friday as we get another mild surge and a mild stretch starting Thursday and lasting through the start of the weekend. We'll see that thermometer again pushing at and above 50 degrees by Friday and Saturday. So that is a look at your breakdown, we end the year with some snowflakes in the air. We start the year with a little sunshine, and then we'll likely get uh, some rain back in the mix by Thursday night and on into Friday. And again, we are brought to you this Tuesday afternoon, this New Year's Eve, countryhammermoonshine.com. So that is your breakdown to end this year and start the new year. Um, to each and every one of you, I would like to wish you a, a very happy and prosperous new year. Um, as you sit down to make your resolutions, make sure that one of them is to continually check in with whiteboard weather. Uh, don't settle for fear casting when you can get simply accurate forecasting every day, 7 a.m. and usually at 3 p.m., a little later today, but 7 and 3 are our usual times. We'll be back to those uh, on Thursday and Friday. Tomorrow, there will be no whiteboard weather. Uh, there will be a holiday for whiteboard weather tomorrow. And then we're back at it 7 o'clock on Thursday morning. Have yourself an outstanding New Year's Eve. Please be safe if you're headed out. And I will see you all next year. Until then, please share whiteboard weather. And as always, peace and love in the new year. See you next year.